Hi, every dental devotee out there. Today we'll discuss about regressive alterations of teeth. Regressive alterations are the group of degradative changes in the teeth which occur due to non-bacterial causes and result in wear and tear of the tooth structure with impairment of function. Let's see some of the commonest regressive alterations of teeth one by one. Firstly, atresion. Atresion is a form of regressive change in teeth characterized by wear of tooth substance or restoration as a result of tooth-to-tooth -to -tooth contact during occlusion, mastication or parafunction. Mostly, atresion is a is related physiological process whose rate and severity depends upon several factors like diet quality, dentition, masticatory force and chewing habits. So, older individuals often exhibit more atresion than the younger ones. Atresion may also be pathological, which may be caused due to abnormal occlusion, leading to traumatic contact during chewing, which causes more tooth wear, and it may also be caused due to premature extraction of teeth, which causes the attrition of remaining teeth is the occlusal load on these teeth increase after the extraction of teeth, because the masticatory force of an individual remains constant. Also, pathological atresion may be due to parafunctional chewing habits like bruxism and habitual chewing of coarse and abrasive pores or other substances like tobacco and betel nut. Abrasion. It is the pathological wearing of tooth structure or dental restorations by friction with foreign substances independent of occlusion. And tooth brush abrasion is the commonest type of abrasion caused by faulty tooth brushing technique, excessive force during tooth brushing, and dentrophies with strong abrasion. Abrasion may also be caused by habitual chewing of betel nut, tobacco, and pan, and also by faulty clasp design in removable partial denture processes. Tailors, carpenters, hairdressers, and shoemakers who use their teeth to hold nails and pins also develop abrasions. Erosion. Erosion is the progressive irreversible loss of hard dental tissues by some chemical processes that doesn't involve bacterial action. Erosion may be caused due to extrinsic factors such as acidic food and beverages, medications like vitamin C and hydrochloric acid preparations, and occupational exposure to acidic vapors. Intrinsic factors causing erosions are systemic diseases like bulimia nervosa, and GERD, gastrointestinal reflux disease, etc., which cause increased vomiting and regurgitation of bowel contents, contents into the mouth. Abfraction. It is the pathological loss of tooth structure caused by biomechanical loading forces. Excessive force during chewing or cleansing cause repeated flexure of tooth and cause ultimate material fatigue and wearing off of tooth away from the point of loading. That's all about the regressive changes of tooth. Hope it Hope it helped you to understand the differences between these different regressive changes. Constructive suggestions and feedbacks are always welcome. Have a nice day. Goodbye.